Okay, so you've decided that maybe you're going to run Nina. Maybe you're going to dip your toes into the water and see how it is. So what do you need? Well, you need something to run Nina on. Now in my case, uh, I have a mini PC that I have actually on my scopes. Each scope has its own mini PC with its own drivers and its own version of Nina. Now, some folks, some astrophotographers, they have their mini PCs actually mounted to their mounts and it doesn't matter what telescope that they put on, they just connect everything up to that mini PC. Uh, they usually attach it to the legs or something of that particular nature. So you can do it either way. What I find is that if you have a single scope, then that's perfectly fine. It's a little less extra weight, um, but what I find that the issue is is that you then have all these cables coming down to the legs and you have more chances of there being snarling with all of those cables coming down and the cables can put strain and you'll have other issues related to that whereas for me at least in my head by mounting it on the telescope so that each telescope gets its own dedicated little mini PC it helps in terms of cable management. I'm able to keep the rat's nest located on the telescope itself proper. So those are kind of the decisions that you're going to have to make. It's like, do I load my PC and mount it on my telescope? Or do I mount it on my tripod legs? Or somewhere on the mount itself and have the cables come down to it. And that's a decision that only you can make. And again, it depends on what your goals are. For me, I use multiple different scopes. Um, I have the Rokinon 135. I've got my new Aperture 75Q, which is a 405 millimeter scope. And then I've got a 10 inch Newtonian, which is 10 16 millimeter focal length and then I've got my RC6 which is 1370. So I, I've got scopes in different ranges and different styles of scopes um, from camera lens to regular um, this is a Petsville design refractor uh, to Newtonian reflectors to RC reflectors. So it's a wide range of different scopes with different configurations. And it just made sense for me to have a separate mini computer set up with Nina for each of those scopes rather than trying to manage all those different possible drivers and platforms and all that other kind of stuff um, through one box. But again, it depends on what you've got and what you're going to be doing but that's my reasoning is because I have all these different scopes and I can put them on either mount I have both uh, Skywatcher EQ6R Pro as well as a Lost Mandy G11 mount and they have different drivers for those so I've got those set up on each of these so that way I can mount the telescope on either um, mount and that's just something that you're going to have to kind of work through and sit down. And what I did is I kind of write, I kind of write everything out so I can see it. And I can say, okay, what are my base configurations? And let that kind of dictate for you how you want to go, whether or not you want to dedicate a uh, mini PC to a telescope, or if you want to dedicate a mini PC to a mount and have that mini PC service multiple different scopes. Later on we'll talk about setting up profiles and that's where that becomes handy because if you have different scopes with different drivers and in different settings you can set up profiles that can easily handle that. I use profiles a little bit differently. I use profiles for things like am I at a remote site? Am I Am I at my home site? Because there's certain configuration settings that I set up for my home versus a remote site. And so that way, if I'm home, boom, I 
select my home profile or and I'm good to go so anyway I know that was kind of a bit and probably rambling too much but anyways hopefully that kind of helps you figure out if you will where you want to host Nina I know that some people because they still want that hands-on uh, will actually load Nina and install it on a laptop and sit out with her scope with Nina and basically manage it and babysit it, the scope like they've always done, like using APT and other things like that. But the whole part of going to Nina, what it affords you is the ability to kind of divorce yourself, if you will, from having to babysit your scope and, and basically be there in case something happens. Uh, if you set up Nina and you set it up the way that you want to, it can tell you when things are going wrong. You can get notifications. You can sit there and you can watch Nina and you can see what's going on. And if you need to come out to your scope, you can come out to your scope. It gives you that level of flexibility. If you want to sit out with your scope, you can do that too. Again, the key here to Nina, at least for me, is flexibility. It just gives you a lot of different options. But I think one of the biggest options, biggest struggle is figuring out, do I get a mini PC for each of my scopes or do I get a mini PC for my mount and configure my multiple different scopes on that so that way it's basically married to the mount and not to the, not to the scope. Or if you don't care and you want to, um, be with your scope and commune with it as it's capturing photons by all means load it on your laptop plug everything in sit beside your scope and be happy so again the key word is really flexibility so uh, I don't know if any of that's any help or if that's just nonsense to you uh, but those were some of the things that I know that I was going through in my head as I was trying to figure out early on, like, how am I going to use Nina? How am I going to set up my stuff so that it can use Nina? And how do I reduce uh, the amount of effort that I have in terms of managing all the pieces and parts? So anyways, if you found this at all insightful, helpful, um, entertaining perhaps <laughs> please go ahead and hit the like button down below and shoot if you want to hear more about Nina and how I set it up and how I use it go ahead and hit the subscribe button because there's more of these kind of videos coming out uh, next video we'll get into a little more depth we'll actually do a basic install of Nina and start working through the configurations and the settings that I use to set up um, Nina for my particular observatory setting. So until next time, clear skies and happy guiding.